All right, we are just about ready to get started with a Season 14 Cup game. This is for the top eight, and it is going to be Nyx playing Phoenix versus Shoot playing Crane. I think we are ready to go here. So it looks like the crane deck is on Dragon Splash, so not running his um, unicorn big attachment deck where you just buy one character and put a ton of attachments on it. Uh, he has three let go, two tattooed wonder, and one hawk tattoo. That's a little bit interesting. Um, Seeker of Air, Keeper of Air. Not seeing anything too weird here. I actually haven't seen a Sami in a while. Um, I kind of missed that card. I think that's a really good card, and I do really like the artwork on it. Uh, the Phoenix deck. Ooh. So, quick dynasty phase here. We have Atsuko with a dupe and a naive student, and there's a Cautious Scout for Crane, both players using a storehouse. Crane has Palace. Uh, Phoenix deck is on three let go, two wander. Ooh, three censure, wow. Uh, three censure with no ancient master is, I think, not ideal. Uh, running three Shiba Tsukune, actually. I know people were trying that for a while because she has a ton of glory, so you can buy her in the mirror and just stand for favor and then get free ring effects. Uh, we see an Embrace the Void on Atsuko. And Cautious Scout attacks and finds Manicured Garden. Uh, he will still get a fate, thanks to Seeker of Air. What you really wanted to find there, though, was like the Upholding Authority or the Shameful Display. It was a 50-50 to hit either that or an Air Province. I think Manicured Garden is actually the worst one to hit, because that's the worst province effect. Um, like, if you hit Upholding Authority, you can go for the break. He's still going to go for the break here with a fine katana but there's a let go um, the crane deck has three katana, three fan, one formal invitation, and one hawk tattoo so if you have the let goes here you probably just uh, throw them at these katanas I imagine only had one though So that is going to be a break on Manicured Garden. Resolves the Water Ring, bowing the Naive Student. So this means now that Phoenix will only get one attack unless he plays a Conflict character, which is nice. Uh, going to go Fire at Fertile Fields. So that draws Crane a card here. Let's see, how could he break this? Uh, court Games doesn't quite do it. If he has an Ornate Fan also. Oh, there's a Counter Court Games though. Court Games plus a Shrine Maiden would have done it as well. Um, if he has... Ooh, he only has one Clarity of Purpose in his deck. Uh, if he had that, I think that was a good spot to play it. He does win the conflict though, which means the firing will ready Atsuko, uh, and that is pretty good for Phoenix because that's going to help keep that Voice of Honor turned off. And we see a Steward of Law. There's an Against the Waves on the Atsuko though. Um, 
Crane going to attack Void. Okay. Yeah, this seems... Mm, you need you need a buff here. Yeah, he's switching to Earth. Probably doesn't have a political buff. If you go if you go Void, you need something. Uh, because Atsuko will bring you down to zero. That's just going to be a defense, though. Hits Upholding Authority. Upholding Authority is actually really good to find there because you're not going to break it, no matter what, pretty much, unless he plays a fan on you. In which case, he gives you the Earth Ring. So, seems good. Forced the defense. Ooh, there's Tsukune. Um, Crane gets the favor. Finds a Kakita Dojo. Not really what, what you want to see right now. Uh, but there are a couple of characters you can play here. Yeah, go shoot for sure. Um, Nyx is pretty cool as well, but I think you gotta, yeah, I think you gotta cheer for Crane here over Phoenix. So, Ethereal Dreamer is used on the Earth Ring. Is he on Unisplash? No, he's on uh, Dragon. Hasn't played any of those cards yet, but... 3 Let Go, 2 Wander. Yeah, it's 3 Let Go, 2 Wander, and 1 Hawk Tattoo for Crane. So, Fertile Fields draws a card. He does have the Clarity of Purpose here. That's pretty good. And it looks like, so Crane didn't play anything in the Dynasty phase. Maybe he has a political rival. We'll see what he plays here. Yeah, he does have a political rival. Makes sense. Uh, you could assassinate the Dreamer also. That would be minus three skill, so then you would be winning. Seems pretty good if you do have it. Uh, we see Cloud on the rival, though. So he's winning by five now. Still not quite breaking. And a pass. Yeah, like... Oh, Embrace the Void. I mean, yeah, I guess that's just going to be some fate back over time. Uh, not really in a position to play five fires. Oh, he has the ornate fan, so he is breaking now. And what Crane really wants to do is prevent the break here, I think. So, if he had a let go, I think he would have just played it on the cloud, probably. Fertile fields? Uh, yeah. Yeah. What do you usually run? Um, what do you usually run in Keeper of Air? Frostbitten. Supernatural Storm. Okay, so he did let go of the cloud. We do see a supernatural storm. Uh, losing this Earth Ring is pretty unfortunate, actually, since the Solemn Scholar is there. You could assassinate it, I guess. Uh-oh. We have 27 bits from Phoenix Fox. Thank you for the bits. Go shoot. Yep. Plays another political rival. Wow. I mean, he had the fate. I see a pass. Hmm, a little bit unfortunate that he couldn't get the extra two skill there. Discards a voice of honor at random. Uh, voice is not really close to being turned on here, so you're probably not too upset about that. Although you would like to have that for later. 
Uh, cautious Scout going to go at a face down province. Probably hope that it's shameful. I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter which one it is. Um, if it's shameful, he doesn't get the Seeker Fate. He's going for the Void Ring. What is Shoot Splash? Uh, Shoot is splashing Dragon for three Let Go, two Wanderers, and one Hawk Tattoo. If Tadaka shows up, then discarding that voice will be really bad. Yeah, that's true. Uh, Solemn Scholar bows the scout. He has favor, though, so he's still winning 1-0. to zero. Uh, Like, I guess maybe he just doesn't really care about the Voidering that much. Tattooed Wanderer for the break. You could Shameful now, but it won't really do anything. Tattooed Wanderer on defense. So now you can Shameful, and it will do something. So both players out of fate now. Bonsai on the Tattooed Wanderer, okay. Um, let's see. Phoenix is on one assassinate. Atsuko still breaking. Six to three. So you just pass. And then I mean Phoenix can replay the storm. Uh, he's going to go ahead and use Shameful. He can replay the Storm to prevent the break with his box. You probably don't want to have to do that, but it looks like he is going to go ahead and do it. Um, keeping Shameful alive seems really, really good, so... And that's going to be it. So, Void Ring on... Hmm. Voidering on Atsuko. Interesting. I was thinking you just voidering one of these zero fate or one fate characters, uh, but he decides to go for the Atsuko. So I guess he's just hoping he can hold out uh, through next turn, and then the whole board will clear. Phoenix does not have any breaks yet. He just keeps running into this palace, which is a lot of province strength. Like I was going to say, it's kind of awkward because you kind of want to get the Wanderer off the board because it's honored, but that's a pretty bad void target here. I would have expected the Scholar or the Dreamer. Steward of Law defends. Uh, he's going to duel here. Both players bid one. It ends in a draw, so nothing happens. Um, that wouldn't have actually done anything no matter what, so... I guess he just did it for fun. Neither character was a duelist, so it would just be the loser can't trigger its abilities, but the uh, Solemn Scholar already used his triggered ability, and Steward of Law doesn't have one, so... Okay, we see a Bonsai on the Steward of Law, and a pass. So he stops the break again. Still no breaks. Um, so the plan might just be, like, go down one break next turn. You have two political rivals, so you should be able to stop the break on political. Um, and then you just go down a military break, and then Phoenix's board clears. Seems like the plan here. Oh, we see an Atsuko dupe, though. 
And Ugina is interesting. <laughs> yeah, not too happy about the Atsuko dupe showing up. Hey, Alpha Squid, how's it going? Um, we're on the start of turn three here. Uh, Phoenix uh, is a bit up on board, but all of his characters have no fate. Yeah, shoot, did get Yoshi in favor. That's true. He really doesn't need more political skill right now, though, which is a little bit unfortunate. Oh, yeah, I just realized Secluded Shrine pl plus uh, Solemn Scholar is a little bit unfortunate. Yeah, I mean, I don't think he was saying that those two cards combo, just that they're both very strong here. Yeah, and the Atsuko dupe doesn't help either. So, you got Palace and Yoshi, yeah. Um, what RG and packs are legal here? It is... I think this is actually no unicorn pack even. It's like way back, old meta. So obviously no crane pack and no updated RG. Uh, yeah, so he is going to play the Yoshi. Yeah, five fires here would just be really, really bad for crane. No uni pack, yeah. I, I, I think it's no uni pack, right? Because unless they, unless they did one of those things where they cut it off at a certain point and shuffle the brackets and have them resubmit deck lists. Uh, this is the cup that started last month, so... As soon as he discards favor with Yoshi, is dead to fires, yeah. Way of the Crane honors Yoshi. I mean, he could still have Voice of Honor. Uh, he'll need two cancels. Yeah, it's an awkward spot, for sure. What does Voice do? Uh, it cancels five fires. Alright, he can't turn it on, can he? Yeah, fun and his two honored characters. That's what I was saying last turn, like, you really want that Tattooed Wanderer to leave, but I don't know, it's tough. Um, wait, is he not running Censure? Yeah, two fires in list. It looks like Crane is actually not on Censure here. Did he miss a chance to remove Wanderer? Uh, he voided the Atsuko instead of one of these three characters, which all had one fate on them. Um, embrace the Void on Yoshi, yeah, so the five fires is going to happen, you can't really stop it. Getting rid of Wanderer or Scholar would have been better for sure, yeah. I, I'm not really 100% sure on the voiding Atsuko play, um, like, I guess he just wanted to, you know, hold out another turn and then everything dies. Don't know his hand, yeah. Uh, Ethereal Dreamer is on fire. Paid one for it, yeah. Seems fair. One fate event to remove five fate from your opponent's characters. And I guess discard two cards. If you count the fate he got from Embrace the Void on the arrival last turn, it was actually free. There's the Yoshi, gonna draw three cards. We need a spectator mode that lets streamers see their hands, except that I guess it becomes too easy to cheat. 
Yeah, we've definitely talked about that before, um, how it would be nice to be able to see their hands as the spectator. If you if you allowed it for any spectator, obviously that would not be good because then people would inevitably cheat. Um, you could potentially, like, you need to stream on delay maybe, but even then, yeah. I mean, uh, it's in the, the rules that uh, the people who are playing a game aren't allowed to watch the stream if it's live. Of course, some people might still try to do that, but yeah, yeah, obviously. I'm talking more about just like random Jigoku games, though. Someone can make an alt account on another computer and spectate the game that they're playing and just see their opponent's hand. Uh, which would obviously be bad. The way around that, I guess, would be potentially to, like, give from... Yeah, a special password, yeah. Yeah, a special password uh, might work. Like, maybe you just give the password to streamers. Um, or the other thing I was thinking was, like, give special permissions to streamers' accounts so that they can see... Uh, the hands and stuff while they're spectating. Yeah, passwords would work too, probably. I don't know. I, I think ultimately it's just like a lot of extra work that you would need to do for not a whole lot of gain. Um, so I imagine it probably won't happen, but... Okay, so we see a display of power here. Yeah, yeah, it's already fine. Um, what ring was that? Air ring? Does Nyx only have one clarity? Yeah, he only has one clarity and he's already played it. Could play it again on this political attack. Um, you don't really need to though, do you? If you break this, you definitely don't need to. Uh, if you don't break this, it could be worth doing to get favor. We'll see. <laughs> yeah, those towers yesterday were fun. So it looks like he is playing the clarity. This has got to be clarity, right? Oh, it's storm. Wow. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> By the way, guys, um, we're actually really close to unlocking another emote slot. So, if anyone wants to... Is that the third storm? Yeah. Forgot to Atsuko. Oops. That would have been 11 to 5, yeah. Uh, don't affiliates get emote slots real easy now? Um, I think so. I don't know. I don't actually need a whole lot of subscribers. Do a squid emote? Yeah. Uh, but yeah, if we get a few more subscribers, we can get another emote. So if you know anyone who has Twitch Prime, tell them to come use their subscription. Um... So the board completely wipes. Phoenix has so much fate though. Shoot is just gonna pass. Man, like how are you gonna get back into this game now? Two more days and I can help? Yeah, cool. We'll have to figure out what the emote should be. Shibio, Jimbo, and Ujina. Like, what do you do here as shoot to get back into this game? You can, like, steward of law for shame people so that you don't lose conflicts. Um, Nyx at least doesn't have a lot of fate. So you can't play a whole lot of things.
Oh, hey. Alpha Squid is giving out subs. Wow. Gives a tier 1 sub to Eric and a tier 1 sub to Asteron. Thank you very much, Alpha Squid. I really appreciate that. Yeah, wug emotes for everyone. <laughs> Maybe they will pay it forward. Yeah, hopefully. Uh, yeah, thank, thanks again, Alpha Squid. I, I really appreciate all your support. Um, I haven't played L5R in like six months, and now there are like a million new cards. Yeah. Uh, let's see, six months. So you probably missed Children of the Emperor and then the two clan packs. So not actually too many. I want to sub two. <laughs> Oh, you don't have Twitch Prime? Uh, let's see, what's happening in the game? We have Ornate Fan on Ugina. Court Games honored him. Uh, Shoot tried to Court Games to dishonor, but there was a censure. Way of the Crane on Fumiki. So he's trying to break this Magistrate Station. How many more subs still emote? Um, oh, I think we made it, actually. Don't break Magistrate Station, yeah. Against the Waves, Reddies, ooh. Does he have another for shame? Squid emotes for all, yeah. We'll, we'll see if we can do a squid emote. Let go on ornate fan. Century on let go, okay. That's two centuries. He has one left in the deck. <laughs> yeah. This game is just depressing me even more. Yeah. Uh, it's kind of a sad game at this point. Ooh, disdainful remark. To add 7 to the province strength. If you stream, you can get subs and emotes too. Yeah, that's true. Um, I'm not 100% sure how the program works. I can't remember. Do I have to win the season to get <laughs> top of clan stronghold? Probably. We'll see. Um, are you going to be at Seattle, Phoenix Fox? So he didn't break Magistrate Station. We see an attack at, oh, another voice gone to Earthring. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Attack at Fertile Fields. Not that they were ever going to be on, yeah. Yeah, very tragic game for Crane here. <laughs> have a burning hatred for the Earth Ring after yesterday. Yeah, I mean, it turns out the Earth Ring is pretty good. Like, I think I would go so far as to say Earth Ring is, like, on average, it's going to be a strong ring all the time, pretty much. Whereas... Most, if not all, of the other rings are often useless. Uh, Alpha Squid gives a tier 1 sub to Daidoji uh, Sumiteru. Thank you very much, Alpha Squid, once again. Um, it didn't break because of Disdainful Remark. That is a card that exists. Yep. He has, yeah, one of those. He played disdainful, so happy, yeah. Um, ooh, an assassinate on Fumiki. He 
He must have drawn the assassinate off of the earth ring, right? Because otherwise he would have just played it. Definitely unfortunate there. So now he's going to break Magistrate Station, get the firing to honor his Yojimbo. Crane has so many unique cards that do weird things that are not efficient, but occasionally very nice. Yeah, that's a pretty good description of Crane. Um, like, you see a lot of those one-times cards. <laughs> Curry favor, yeah. Menacing Iron Warrior to defend, so might not break here. Find Katana, even. Now to flip uh, Tadaka next turn. Yeah, that would be pretty tragic. Turn off just about every event. But yeah, I feel like Crane is like the closest thing we have to like a toolbox deck where it just has a ton of one times cards that do different things. Oh shoot, big time for the deck yesterday. Helped a ton, yeah. Uh, that deck is definitely pretty cool. Shrine Maiden finds Walking the Way. Finds a storehouse with that. So, no Tadaka at least. Crane is very fair mostly, yeah. Uji is unfair. Um, MS. I keep blanking on these acronyms. Oh, Magistrate Station, right. I was like, I, I swear I just heard that one. Yeah, uh, MS is borderline unfair. Um, but yeah, I definitely agree. Like, for the most part, Crane is a pretty fair clan. Um, if you lose to them, it's usually because they played better than you and not because they just, you know, high rolled and got super lucky. Although that can definitely happen. Yeah, last century to cancel that way, the Crane, that's unfortunate. Um, so the firing will honor the Yojimbo. So you discard Yoshi, probably discard Dojo, keeps Guest, alright. Imperial Palace, Tsuki, and two libraries. Mm. Probably not really what Phoenix wants here. Uh, a couple of Brash Samurais for Crane. This is a pretty good match, yeah. Like, Phoenix didn't get too lucky. Uh, he definitely had some pretty good luck. Uh, he had his five fires at the right time. He had the Embrace the Voids. But, like, he isn't flipping Tadaka and Kanjo on you, so... It's not like you just have zero chance. Now, yeah, now Nyx has to actually pay for any five fires that he plays. Do you think Nyx feels unlucky? Um, I mean, I don't think he feels unlucky. Maybe, maybe like average luck at, at worst. Um, only this turn? Yeah, I mean this turn probably. Hold on, I'm going to go see what the dogs are barking at. Yeah, if he found Tadaka this turn, I imagine the game will be over. Uh, next turn, discard gets shuffled in and he can embrace again. Yeah, I mean, if he draws it right. He's going to bid one here, though. Cloud the mind on Brash Samurai. Uh, that's unfortunate. Oops. 
Have we seen any Tadaka? Uh, no. I do not believe we have. Bonsai twice on Brash Samurai, so he is winning now, uh, but there's a fine katana. That's unusual. Well, he's only been through half the deck, so, like, statistically, I wouldn't say it's unusual. Um, if you're just talking about, like, Phoenix always gets Tadaka when they need it, then yeah, it's probably a little bit unusual. How many let goes played? Two? Ooh, we see the Admit Defeat. Uh, there's one of those cards like you were talking about. So that should be the break here, unless Phoenix finds an answer. Plays a Shrine Maiden. Adds Against the Waves to his hand. Only had two cards left in the deck. Uh... So, he knew exactly what it was going to be, right? What are the odds for no Tadaka in top 20? Um, I don't think it's low. Like, it's only it's only three cards in a 40-card deck. Um, I don't know what the actual chance would be, but I don't imagine it's actually too low. Like... If I'm just, like, um, hand-waving it, then if you had two cards in the deck, then it's probably, like, a 50-50, right? Bit under, bit under 1 over 8 if you don't count Mulligan. Is it that low? Wow. Yeah, I guess I could see that. But, I mean, to be fair, like, it's it's that low for any card that you have three of, right? So, chances are it's going to happen with one of the cards in your deck at least, right? I don't know. I don't, I don't think it's really worth, like, figuring out the chances of it. Um, let's see. Bonsai on Shrine Maiden, Steward of Law, Force Shame to cancel, uh, or counter that. Really wants to get the break here. What's in Nyx's hand? Um, well, a Goblin Sneak is one thing. Plays that at home, is going to get the break. Let's see, we've seen all the let goes, we've seen, he has Against the Waves. Yeah, we should be able to figure it out. Uh, I think you will see Tadaka in top 20, 90% of time is useful info. I mean, I guess. Like, does that really... Like, either you see him or you don't, right? I, I don't know if that really, like, changes any lines you would take, but I don't know. Uh, so yeah, one against the waves... Does he have any Shrine Maidens left? I think he has one Shrine Maiden left. Yeah, now he just has to somehow break the Stronghold before this um, large Ujina can destroy all of his provinces. Going for the Void Ring here, that'll kill the Menacing Iron Warrior if he wins. Uh, can just go Void Fires. Yeah, sure. Plays Clarity of Purpose, though. He has Fires in his hand, right? Because he's only played one. I haven't seen the other Display of Power either. So he has Display of Power, five Fires. Oh, he doesn't do it. Okay. Didn't think it was worth it, I guess. Display of Power, Five Fires, Shrine Maiden. 
Yeah, it's two display powers. Uh, the list on the spreadsheet has three. Um, but I think there was like a problem with it or something. He only actually has two in his deck. They sorted that out before the game. Has he played his assassinate? Yeah, he has. Cloud? One cloud? So two clouds in his hand. What about court games? One, two, two. So I think his hand is court games, five fires, display. Oh, there's a cloud on the brash. So one cloud, one court games. And then we still need one other card. Let's see about fans. Is it a fan? No, it's not a fan. Oh, it's against the waves. He hasn't played that yet. So, stronghold attack. Oh, it's Rally to the Cause. Shameful in the row. Okay, interesting. Uh, but yeah, he just defends with Regina, and he's fine. Against the, against the waves readies, though. So yeah, we're going to see the third break here, and it'll bring shoot down to one honor. Yeah, rally is a bit weird. Uh, finds the crane shameful. Wonder if he has a conflict character. Already played both wanders. He can hawk tattoo maybe, or just play. Yeah, he is gonna hawk tattoo. Wow. Um. Hmm. I was thinking you play it on the steward of law because that way you get the honor back. But I guess this way. The Brash Samurai has a Hawk Tattoo now, so he valued that a little bit more than the Honor. Wait, Dishonor is the Goblin Sneak. Why he do that? Oh, it was breaking anyway, I guess, right? But why didn't he Dishonor Ugina? Discards Noble Sack at random. Oh, because of Yojimbo. Okay. I was looking all over trying to find some reason for that. Well, you don't want to Noble Sack the Goblin Sneak, right? And if you did want to Noble Sack... Oh, well, you couldn't have done it with Steward of Law. You would have had to honor Steward of Law somehow. Which I don't think he could do. Yeah, better to get the free Dishonor token on the Goblin Sneak than to just have him use Yojimbo. Could have won with a Noble Sack. Yeah, he has already reshuffled.
We have 10 bits from Phoenix Fox. Thank you once again. Um, can you Yojimbo a duel? Uh, well, that was already answered, but yeah, it's any any triggered ability. So yeah, we're seeing a uh, ooh, he found Tadaka, and we're seeing a stronghold attack here. Um, yeah, he just covers Toshimoko. I think this is it. Water. Oh, I had two fate. Sure. Uh, any card effect that targets a Shugenja you would control. That's a triggered ability. So yeah. Yeah, like this is just going to be it, right? Formal invitation on Toshimoko, okay. I mean, I guess that is maybe a way. You move him in. Oh no, just has to let go for that. Drew really let go off the top. Yeah, that's going to be it. Tragic loss there for shoot. Uh, but congratulations to Nyx. Yeah, that turn was not great for a crane. Yeah. So Nyx will move on to the semifinals where he will play against Scorpion. So we have two Phoenix, one Scorpion, and one Crane left in the semifinals. Did Phoenix Fox play Mike already, actually? I can't remember if that game happened or not. Okay, yeah, it looks like they didn't. Did Crane have a chance if no Tadaka? Um... Oh, just one against Zelo today? Alright, cool. I mean, maybe? I'm still not really sure what he was going to do, right? He only had four cards in hand. Like, at this point, it was already pretty much over. The Tadaka was kind of just the nail in the coffin. But yeah, that's going to do it here. Um... So thank you very much, everybody, for watching and for all of the support. Uh, shout out to Alpha Squid, of course, for gifting some subscriptions. And again, Phoenix Fox for the bits. Um, I believe we have another emote slot now, so I'll figure out what I'm going to do with that and let you guys know. But yeah, thanks, for, uh, thanks everybody for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.